Good morning, Whitehead Wildcats. Good morning, Whitehead Wildcats. Buenos dias, Whitehead Wildcats. Buenos dias, Whitehead Wildcats. Today is Friday, November 10th, and it is Fantastic News Friday, and I think we have a lot of fantastic news today. Well, why wouldn't we? We're Whitehead. We've got lots of great things going on We here. do, and lots of fantastic people. So let's start off with two fantastic staff members. Uh, of course, because it is time for your enemies. Our first amazing staff member is Mrs. Soledad and her Emmy is for Outstanding Actress in an Action Film. Woo! She used her quick thinking to keep a student safe last week and we truly appreciate that because above all else here at Whitehead, student safety is our number one priority. Yay! Awesome Thank job, you so much. Ms. Gomez. Thank you so much for acting quick and being on top of it. Our next Emmy goes to Miss Exania for amazing set redesign. Miss Exania has been working so super hard to get Portable 3 up and running so that we can introduce Art 2 no longer on a cart. So teachers, it is coming soon. Check the Randall Review this week for your official announcement. Coming soon. That's kind of like a movie preview Ooh. for our Emmys. All Yay. right. Now, do we have any fantastic news because um, they were nominated by other staff? We do. We have teacher and student fantastic Wonderful. news Wonderful. So our first one is Jalila Jones from Miss Bloom's class. Math is a subject that our friend struggles with, but she has been killing it learning her multiplication strategies. Nice. Nice job, Jalila. We are so proud of you. Awesome job. Um, we also had Mrs. Hughes nominated this week. A huge thank you to her for helping Mrs. Riddies get all of her small groups up and running. Oh, good job, Mrs. Hughes. Thanks for going the extra mile. We so love it when our grown-ups are on here, exemplify what we want from our students, mm -hmm. helping each other. That is amazing. Then Mrs. Reese also nominated, oh my goodness, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of her students Woo! who have grown 50% or more in reflex. Holy moly. Mrs. Reese, do you know? I'm sorry, Mrs. Reese's class. Look around. Can you imagine who they are? We have Alea Davis, Ethan Ellis, Amelia Goodwin, Janila Martin, Carmelo McClellan, ACL Palato, Connor Wilkes, and Anaya Williams. Great job, Mrs. Reese's class. Awesome job, kiddos. I am so proud of you for working on those multiplication and division facts. You guys are growing those brains. Now this next one, I'm super glad that I read the script first because the first time I read it, I, I misread it. Ah. So Corian Ben Pelt in Mrs. Bloom's class. You are amazing. It says Corian killed it with her animal research project. She stayed focused and completed the work with little or no help. Holy cow. Research projects are so hard. They are. And the first time I read it, I read Corianne killed an animal. <laughs> we would not be giving no. a shout out for that. No, we would not. No, no. But we are so proud of you, Corianne. Um, I remember my first animal research project, and I didn't do that until junior high. And it was like seventh grade, and it was about a zebra. I did my first animal project in seventh grade as well, and it was on a jaguar, and my teacher marked me down because I drew spots on the jaguar, and she said jaguars don't have spots. Mm. They do. They do. You're right. They do. And so I just took the C because I was too nervous to say anything. I would think that somewhere in your research project when you described the animal, you would have said jaguars have spots. Mm -hmm. I did. And she... Obviously didn't read your research project to know that jaguars had spots. No idea, but that sticks out in my mind. So boys and girls, if you ever have a question about something, ask your teachers, because I should have. You should have, yep. Mm -hmm. But you know what? We're not done with fantastic news Holy yet. Holy moly! Damien Serrano Ramirez in Mrs. Bloom's class achieved 100% in addition and subtraction on reflex and is moving on to multiplication and division. Oh, awesome job, Damien. Good job working hard and sticking with it. Mrs. Randall, I have a little problem with our fantastic news. What? It's all from third grade. Oh man, come on, other grade levels. You gotta jump in on this fantastic news. Don't forget, it's in the Randall Review every Friday. 
I know that there is fantastic news through this whole building. We got to get it in here. Absolutely. So next Friday, we want to see even more. All righty. Lunch? Of course. All right. We are having chicken and waffles, vegetarian chicken and waffles, and a yogurt snack pack with tater tots, side salad, strawberry gel cup, apple slices, and it is birthday treat day, so there are cookies. Woo! And for breakfast on Monday, Pop-Tarts, Strawberry Craisins, and Mrs. Randall's favorite, 100% juice. Over the weekend, we have three birthdays, one Friday, one Saturday, one Sunday. Oh, nice. It doesn't happen that way often. No, it doesn't. Today, Friday, November 10th, we have first grader Carter Lee. Oh, this is crazy. On 11-11, Saturday, we have second grader Abel Jones, and on the 12th, Sunday, we have third grader, ah. Lily Rose. You see why I said it's crazy? I did. First, second, third grade on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's so crazy. Boys and girls, happy birthday. Do not forget to come on down to the office for your special birthday surprise. And speaking of special birthday surprises, I think we have something else we're starting up today. Hmm. Do you want to talk about this before I start? I do. So, boys and girls, if you ride a bus or you're in the gym or cafeteria in the morning, you have the ability to earn one of these blue sheets of paper called B-Bucks. And so these are given out to students who are being exceptional at being safe, responsible, and respectful. So any adult can give these to you, and you need to put your first name, and your last name on them, as well as your teacher's name before you turn them in. If you don't put your first name and your last name, unfortunately, we can't use it because we have so many double names in this school. Who really knows, right? Right. So, how many are we drawing this time? Let's draw 10 because oh we gosh. haven't done it yet. So, you let's, my mind. let's go okay, for it. Okay, so our first one is... Oh, the other thing, friends, is you've got to make sure that Mrs. Skaggs can read it. Oh, yeah, I can't read that. Yeah, so, no idea. Can't read it. Our first official winner of the year. Woo! Merit Breshen, <laughs> Mrs. Reese's class. Nice job. All right, job. all right. Our next winner is Andrea Gomez from Mrs. Martinez's room. Oh, what are these winners supposed to do? Oh, I'll tell you at the end. You oh, got to okay. listen. You got to listen the whole way through. Oh no, no oh, last name. Bummer, bummer. Melanie Solis in Miss Martinez's room. <laughs> it's Stephanie on there. Stephanie Galvin in Miss Lopez's room. Eli Lawrence in Miss Lopez's room. Guys, got to get those last names. Oh, I remember. Um, you want me to Gab say it? I, yeah, you know it? I do. It's Gabricia Twardowski in Miss Reese's room. Oh, good. I'm glad you remembered how to say it because I was just going to say her big brother's name and say it's that little sister. <laughs> Genesis Laura in Miss Lopez's room. Gianni Goodwin in Miss Hedrick's room. Alice Laguna in Ms. Lopez's room. Scarlett Lynn in Ms. Sage's room. I'm just having too much fun. Honesty Roberts in Ms. Reese's room. Ethan Allen, Ms. Reese's room. Oh my goodness, some of these people are like three time winners. Woo! Well, this is just like a scribble scribble. It was like a letter. Shania, oh, uh, Shay, hmm. Shania. Yes, thank you. Not Shania Twain. Not accurate. Only the grown-ups probably get that. Yes. Shania Guillarte in Miss Lopez's room. That is way more than 10. That's all right. That's a no name. I mean, it's a last, no last name. Anaya Williams in room four. That's a blah, blah, blah. That's a blah, blah, blah. That's a repeat. That's a repeat. Oh my gosh, some of you guys are so amazing. You have like four or five in here. Aliyah Caldera in Miss Lopez's room. No last name. Amelia Goodwin in room four. Alea Davis, room four. Giselle Howard, Miss Bloom. No last name. Okay, last one. You want to do a drum roll for the last one? That's what I thought. Santa Johnson. 
Girl, you got to write a little bit more neat because I almost couldn't tell. I know. Good it was, thing that Miss Randall was here. It was close. I'm really good at deciphering most handwriting. So we drew way more than 10. But boys and girls, if you heard your name, you need to come on down to the front office for a special surprise. Please make sure you want Miss and please make sure you're extra special kind when you come in because it's quite busy in the mornings down here in the office and there were a lot of you. So now it is time to stand up for the Pledge of Allegiance, but in what language? In what language shall it be? Bum, ba, da, dum, bum. En Espanol! Spanish! Oh. I wonder if they've been keeping track. I don't know if they have, but we have. Yes, we have. Thank you to our morning meeting club for giving us a lovely typed out tracker for in our binder. We are now three to one Spanish versus English. Uh-huh. Do you know what percentage that is? I do. Three to you? one? That is a three to one ratio. That means 75% of the time. There you go. We are doing Spanish. You got to think of it like quarters, boys and girls, like a dollar. If you have one dollar, how many quarters make a dollar? Oh, four. four quarters. Make a dollar, and we're, we have three. So how many is that? That's 75 cents. Which is 75% in this term of what we're doing. But that's how I think of percent a lot. I use money. I do too. Because it's just a dollar, easy. you can break down. It could be 10 dimes. Mm -hmm. It could be 20 nickels. 100 pennies. Four quarters. You got me thinking about your hundred penny story now. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right. right. Stand for the pledge, please. Well, I oh, hope they are. are. I hope they are. All right, let's go. Yo prometo lealtad a la bandera de los Estados Unidos de America y a la república que representa una nación bajo Dios indivisible con libertad y justicia para todos. Now stay standing for that Whitehead Creed. We are the Whitehead community. We honor and respect each other. We are safe and kind. We believe in justice. We work hard to excel in learning. We are all different and that's what makes us great. Now, oh wait, what? What are you doing tonight? Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. This it's, is random. I know, it's my favorite day of the year. How did I forget? How did you forget your favorite day of the year? I don't know. You guys, this know. is Mrs. Randall's calling. Yes, this is my favorite day of the year. Boys and girls, tonight, 5.30 to 8 p.m. is turkey bingo. Woo, 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 woo. Oh, my gosh. You have to come out. It's so much fun. You can buy... Um, raffle raffle tickets. tickets. Couldn't get it out of my mouth. Raffle tickets. You can get 20... For $20, you get 25 raffle tickets. Thank you. Thank you. It wasn't coming out because I'm so excited. And bingo cards are $1 for a card, and you get a raffle ticket with your card. Yes, and we have lots of raffle prizes. Hey, and if you're a kiddo, you win. Right. Automatically, you're going to get something if you're a kiddo. And new this year, they're going to have a craft station for the students. So if maybe bingo is not your thing or you play a couple games and you get a little bored, kids can go over and do a craft while their parents keep playing bingo. Because you know what? Bingo's never boring because I do so many fun things in between. Do you guys remember like when <laughs> Mrs. Randall used to tell jokes on morning meeting? She's got lots of turkey related jokes and Thanksgiving jokes. So um, And trivia and trivia and i take audience participation she sure does and the baskets are gonna be phenomenal we've got like some movie night baking holidays lots of different lots kinds. of great things winter cleaning all kinds of stuff so come on out tonight come in door d starting at 5 30 with a guardian Yes. With a guardian. You know what's really sad? I heard that some people showed up to skate night without guardians. Yeah, you guys got to come to all the Whitehead events, even if they're not at Whitehead, with a guardian. Yeah. We need you to have an adult with you so we know you're safe. Yeah. But 5.30, door D, turkey bingo. Phenomenal. It's so fun. You are going to be so excited. It's going to blow your minds. So excited. Coming at you, turkeys. It's going to be fun.